I believe this could be the biggest airdrop of 2024, and it may not even be close. In a previous video, we talked about Blast, which is a layer two network on Ethereum. And since that video, this has absolutely exploded. Blast now has over $2.5 billion of total value locked on the chain. And if you're watching this video, you don't wanna miss out on that kind of potential. So as of today, you have 60 days left. The airdrop launches in May of 2024, so let's not waste any time. Let's check out how we can get the most points and how we can get the most out of this airdrop. Okay, the very first thing you wanna do if you have not yet is join Blast. And to do that, you're going to need an invite code. So you should definitely use my code. The link is down below. And if you don't know what it is, it's UN0DZ. Okay, that's the code to get into my squad right here. We have a lot of people in our squad, as you can see right here, and all of these people helped our squad get more bonus points in the early access program. But now, if you wanna join our squad, the link is the same, blast.io slash UN0DZ, link down below. Join Blast, that's the first step. The second step is to go over here to the bridge on blast.io and bridge from Ethereum main net over to Blast L2. Now what you can see here is if you connect your wallet, you're gonna see how much Ethereum you have in your wallet and whatever other coins you have in your wallet, you can actually go ahead and bridge. We can click right here and see what are the options that are available to bridge over to Blast. You can bridge Ethereum, USDC, Tether, staked Ethereum, wrapped Ethereum, and DAI. Now, so far I've bridged over 6.3 Ethereum and about $7,000 of USDC, but you can bridge whatever tokens you want. So for this example, we can go and bridge 0.5 ETH and then we'll click submit. And then you want to approve that transaction, but I would highly recommend doing it at a time when gas fees are lower because this bridge could cost you 30 to $50 if you do it when gas is high. Now, as you can see right here, we have a ton of people that have joined my squad through my invite link down below, but they didn't do step two. They didn't bridge any Ethereum, any tokens at all to the Blast Layer 2 network. And you can see all these people right here all have zero bridge, which means they're gonna earn absolutely nothing when it comes to this airdrop. So if you do join the squad, make sure you bridge at least a small amount of Ethereum or USDC or Tether or whatever you can that you're comfortable with so you can actually access the airdrop. Because if you don't bridge anything, you won't get any points and therefore you will get zero blast tokens in the airdrop in May when that happens. And if you don't believe me, there are a freaking lot of you that did not bridge a single dime. So if you're joining Joining new or if you're already on my squad and you haven't bridged yet, make sure you go do that because you have to, otherwise you won't get any points. Okay, so now that you've joined my Blast squad and you've bridged some of your tokens over to the Blast chain, then you can go and see how many points you're going to get per hour. On the left side here, you can see how many tokens you've bridged. So for me, I've bridged 6.3 Ethereum, which is gonna earn 4% yield plus Blast points. We'll talk about that in just a second. I've also bridged 6,880 USDC, which is gonna earn an additional 5% yield and Blast points as well. So whatever tokens that you bridge, you're gonna earn points and you're gonna earn staking yield on those as well. And the way it works right now is pretty simple. The more you bridge, the more you'll earn per hour. So you can see for me, I'm earning 977 points per hour nonstop. So there's no interaction needed anymore in terms of getting points. You're gonna earn points the minute you bridge over till the minute the airdrop happens. And it's gonna do it all automatically. And you can actually see your points going up in real time right here. Now, the cool thing is because these are technically staked and we're earning yield on them, right? We're earning interest of 4% and 5%. This number is gonna go up slowly over time. The points we earn will go up because the amount of tokens we have actually goes up as the yield accrues. Now it's very small over the course of a year, right? It's only 4% over the course of a year. So in the next two months, it's not gonna accrue that much, but what you will see, and I've already seen it myself, these points will go up very slowly per hour, especially if you have more bridge, you'll see this go up noticeably per hour. But the more you bridge, the more points you're gonna earn per hour, it's pretty straightforward. But then there's the next part, which is the multiplier. And that's where the dApps come in. 
if we scroll down here, you're gonna see all of the dApps that they recommend or they are showcasing uh, right here. And you can go over and click launch on any one of these. And then you're gonna see a profile for that dApp that's on blast. You can see a description of it. You can actually click on this and go over to their Twitter. And if we scroll down, you can see who's made it who the investors are, and how many points we've actually gotten from that dApp. You can also see some product screenshots, but if you want to, you can actually go ahead and just click on launch, and it'll bring you right over after you click the uh, disclaimer there because they don't wanna be responsible for any rug pulls since it's really early on still. We'll talk about that in a second as well. But you can go over to the site real quick just from going right on the dashboard on Blast. So by interacting with dApps, we'll be able to increase our multipliers. If we click multipliers down here, you can see there there are 12 different multipliers that are going to be launched over the next two months, with the final four being locked until April 30th. But the first ones actually unlock on March 12th, which is about two weeks from today. So we don't know what these multipliers are yet, but I think it's highly likely that they will be some dApps that you have to interact with and do a certain amount of volume or a certain amount of transactions or activity on those dApps to start using the Blast Network and try it out. So although we can go over to some of these right now that are already live on the Blast mainnet, I'm personally going to wait a couple days to see and make sure all of these are uh, safe. I don't wanna be risking my actual Ethereum now that it's unlocked on Blast, right? I have 6.3 ETH. I'm not personally willing to risk going and interacting with these just yet until we see that they're safe and know that they're not dangerous or malicious. Um, so I'll be waiting on those, but in a couple days, and since we have time before these multipliers unlock, I think it's okay to wait a couple days before you interact with a bunch of these dApps to get your multipliers potentially unlocked. And then once these multipliers are unlocked, these points are gonna go up by that multiplication. So for example, if we got a 2X multiplier here, not only would we have 2X these points, so immediately we'd have about 8,000 points, after getting that 2x multiplier, but we'd also be getting 2x the points per hour. So we'd be getting almost 2,000 points per hour with a 2x multiplier. So those multipliers are a huge deal. We're gonna really need to figure out how to get those and try to get all 12 of them because that is gonna maximize our points and therefore maximize our airdrop in May. There are a couple more things I wanna highlight here. Firstly, invites still give you 16%. So if you join my squad and then you will get your own invite link, you can invite your friends to our squad and you will get 16% of whatever they earn on their points as well. So it's highly incentivized for all of us to continue to refer people, bring our friends into our squad and make our squad even bigger because everyone's gonna share in those points, uh, at least a portion of those points. You'll even get 8% of your invites invites. So it's definitely a good thing if you guys sign up with our squad, bring your friends in, we're all going to win that way. One of the really important things about multipliers is that you don't need to spend a lot of money to earn the multipliers. You can see here that everyone from Wales to new users are able to earn multipliers equally. You don't need to risk a lot of capital to earn them. So that's really good to know. So if you're someone that's worried about not being able to get a multiplier or not get as many points as you probably would, even if you bridge 0.1 ETH or $100 worth of USDC, you can get these multipliers and help yourself get a lot more points, even with a small amount bridged if you don't have that much money to work with right Right now. So it is important that the sooner you bridge, the sooner you can start accumulating these points because they are based on hourly. The more time you're in, the more points you'll get. And then as you get those multipliers, you'll be able to multiply those points over time. And that's going to add up to a lot, even if you don't have a lot of money in here. So again, if you haven't bridged anything yet, Go over to bridge and make sure you get your bridge in as soon as possible. That we know is safe as far as we can tell so far. There's $2.3 billion locked on blast. So a lot of people have done it. It seems relatively safe so far. Obviously nothing's safe in crypto. This is definitely safer than interacting with unknown dApps at this point. And you can start to accumulate those points right away. So we know that our points are going to be what allows us to get our blast allocation for the airdrop, but there's also this thing they're introducing called gold, blast gold. And you can see that that is half of the airdrop. What's gonna happen is all the developers of these dApps that are working on different projects on blast are gonna get paid in blast gold. 
Every two weeks, Blast will give gold to each of these dApps that they feel deserves it, and then what they can do, those dApps, is give that gold to the users that have used their dApp. Not all of them will do this, but you can see right here, the best dApps have already committed to giving all their Blast gold to users. So for us, that means we can actually get both points and Blast gold. You can see right here, Blast gold, I have zero, and most people probably do because you couldn't earn it up until this point, but it would be good to get both Blast gold and points because I imagine both will be able to be converted into Blast tokens when the airdrop happens. We also know that getting Blast gold by using dApps is gonna help us get our multipliers. So really, Bridging money over to the chain as soon as possible and having the most time on chain is gonna get you the most points over time. And then to multiply those points and to get blast gold, we wanna interact with these dApps. And we're gonna do that in a couple days once we know that these dApps are safe. I'll put out an update video showing you guys which ones I like the best, the best way to farm for gold, and which dApps are giving away the most gold that we know are safe. Quick recap, there are 60 days left until this airdrop goes live, and this could be one of, if not the biggest airdrops of 2024 going into a bull market, which could be crazy. So click the link down below to join my squad, and then make sure you go over to the bridge and bridge Ethereum, USDC, Tether, whatever you like, however much you're comfortable with, over to Blast, you can start earning points immediately and then come back to watch the next video where we're going to talk about which dApps to use to get some blast gold and continue to up those points with the multipliers. And if you're still here for some reason, definitely go and watch this video.